large chicken breast. The chicken breast was huge, so if you have regular sized chicken breast, you might want to use two or three. I cut them up into bite sized chunks. I have um, vegetable soup mix vegetables, some poultry seasoning, I used of course salt and pepper, and I'm going to include mushroom, uh, actually cream of mushroom soup, and some polenta. Polenta is the European version of grits, it's a little bit smoother than our American grits, and some parsley. And of course I'll probably include some of my Creole seasoning. Um, this ought to be a really quick Monday night dinner and uh, hopefully there will be enough left for take to work lunches tomorrow. Let's get going. Here's everything all mixed up together. I also added um, one medium uh, chopped onion. I have the cooker set on high. I'll cook probably for about two, two and a half hours and I'll add the vegetable soup mix in the last half hour. That way the vegetables won't get too mushy. So the polenta is coming along nicely and um, I like to have it set so it's nice and firm. So um, I'll finish cooking it now and when the chicken is ready the polenta will be nicely set. Let's get it finished. The polenta finished up nicely. I uh, poured it out of the pot I boiled it in into this pan um, and I like to let it set. Then I'm able to cut squares to accompany the rest of the dish. Um, I really like that method of presentation and uh, if you want to mix it you could just mash and mix with the sauce from the, um, in this case, chicken with um, cream of mushroom. So the polenta is ready and in the process of setting, let's wait for the chicken. Look at the sizzle on this dish and it smells marvelous too. I added uh, four tablespoons of cornstarch with a half cup of water and it thickened up beautifully. I have the um, vegetables, but I'm tempted to serve them on the side. Here's the vegetables, aren't they beautiful? So let me decide. I think I'll put them in and uh, dinner is just about ready. I decided to add the vegetables. You know what looks like chicken a la king that you serve on toast? Uh, this could be served on toast or rice or ramen or pasta. Or um, you want to get fancy with white and wild rice? Um, I'm serving it by polenta today, and uh, let's get the plate ready. Dinner is ready. It came out perfect with the vegetables mixed in. You could serve it like this, or with the vegetables on the side. It smells fantastic. Boo, I uh, like the polenta so much. He already got into it. <laughs> So I was glad um, I had an opportunity to finish the video before there was a problem. I hope you'll try this recipe. It's delicious. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.